In mid-1987, when UFO buffs first got the MJ-12 document in their hands, many of them thought that they were fondling the holy grail of UFO research. The photo reproduction of an eight-page alleged government document is purported to be a preliminary briefing on UFOs for President-elect Eisenhower, released on November 18, 1952, also officially the first day of the formation of the CIA. That's from Jim Keith's excellent book, Saucers of the Illuminati. Get a good look at that. Very good book. Short, as you can see, easy to read. Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. I should have held off one day before I did my tirade about Goldman Sachs because today I saw in the news that a Goldman Sachs executive by the name of Adam Storch, Adam Storch, who is vice president of the business intelligence group at Goldman Sachs, was selected by the Security and Exchange Commission to be the Chief Operating Officer of Enforcement. Why not just rename the motherfucking country Goldman fucking Saxland? How would that be? This has got to be the worst fucking travesty of anything that I've seen in this administration so far. Frankly, it is the most in-your-face fuck you that you could ever fucking have. Yes, I know. The President and all of his advisors, every one of them, have done nothing but fuck over the entire American population from day fucking one. Every one of his promises, every one of his campaign pledges, everything that he said he was going to do has turned out to be a big, fat, fucking lie. But, when you have the fucking goal to put in as enforcement in the Security and Exchange Commission someone from Goldman Sachs who is so firmly fucking embedded in the fucking administration right now. That truly, truly is the height of fucking gall. It really is. You already have the Treasury completely fucking run by Goldman Sachs, where Timothy Geithner cannot take one step or do one fucking action without consulting them. And who do you think just posted fucking huge profits while other banks did not do so well. He wasn't calling their motherfucking CEO every five fucking seconds to determine what U.S. fucking policy should be. No. He was contacting Goldman Sachs. And there's a long list of fucking former, and I say former, in quotation marks, Goldman Sachs employees that are embedded in this fucking administration. And to have them even propose a Goldman Sachs person for the SEC is a complete fucking affront to me. And it should be to you too. Now, I think it's incumbent upon me, and hopefully you as well, to demand that Congress and the Senate both launch fucking investigations into fucking Goldman Sachs just to see how far they've penetrated our fucking government. And to prove once and for all that this entire fucking administration is sold out to a private fucking banking interest at the expense of every fucking person in this country. And I'm also demanding that this fucking storch motherfucker is prevented from taking his role at the SEC. And once again, 
demanding that Geithner be ousted as Treasury Secretary and a fucking congressional investigation be launched immediately into Goldman Sachs. I urge you to join me in that effort. This is the worst form of in-your-face fuck you bullshit that you're going to get from this administration. It doesn't get any worse than this. And if this is allowed to stand, you might as well just fold on every fucking thing else. Thank you. Good night.